If you're making the switch from Notion to Airtable, you might be worried about losing all of your useful relations that keep your databases linked. With a couple of super easy formulas, you can quickly convert all of your Notion relations into linked records in Airtable. Today, I'm going to show you how to quickly migrate all of your data without losing those valuable connections. Hi, I'm Tom from X-Ray Tech, the workflow company. At X-Ray, we use low-code software like Notion and Airtable to organize data and build time-saving automated workflows for our members. If you'd like to see more low-code tips and tutorials every single week, be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel and turn on those notifications too. In this video, I'm going to show you how to export a Notion database and import it into Airtable. Then I'll walk you through a couple of quick formulas and field edits that will let you automatically re-establish your relations from Notion as linked records in Airtable. No automations and no code required. Let's get started. Before I show you the entire process of exporting your data and creating linked records, I want to be clear about the setup that I'm going to demonstrate here. It's only suitable for a one-time transfer. If you want to keep a permanent sync between Notion and Airtable, you should check out automation providers like WhaleSync or Unito that specialize in synchronizing databases between apps. These apps will let you maintain parallel databases in Notion and Airtable and update the appropriate records whenever you make an edit to either database. We have a guide for syncing Airtable and Notion with Unito that you can check out in the resources board linked in the description down below. And we have a similar tutorial for syncing Airtable and Notion with WhaleSync that you can find on the resources board too. But if you wanna make a one-time switch from Notion to Airtable, the technique I'm gonna show you today will be perfect. With all that in mind, let's open up Notion and get started. First, I'll give you a quick overview of the whole process. Then I'll go into each step in detail. To start, open up your Notion databases. We'll call them database A and database B. It doesn't matter which is which, we're just going to use these labels to make it clear when we're working on one versus the other. Add an ID field to database A. Then add a rollup field to database B to look up and copy the ID field. Export both of your databases as CSV files. Import the databases into Airtable as new tables and adjust the field types during the import configuration. Make sure the relation and the rollup fields are set to text. Then duplicate the primary field in database A and change the original primary field into a formula. The formula will just display the contents of the Notion ID field. Go to database B and convert the old rollup field into a linked record. Airtable will now treat the text in these fields as names of the records in database A. And since we changed the primary field to be the Notion ID, it should find the correct matching records. Now the link has been rebuilt. So we just need to delete any old unused fields and change the primary field back to something that makes it easier for a human to read and identify each record. For instance, we can just change it so it includes the name and title of each contact. And that's it. That's how it works in a nutshell. But keep watching for more detail about each step and check out the resources board to learn more about synchronization between apps beyond Notion and Airtable. To start, open up the Notion databases you want to export. On this Notion page, I've got two related databases that I want to export to Airtable. Contacts, or database A, and Companies, or database B. A two-way relation connects each contact to a company. I've put both databases on the same page for convenience, but it's okay if your databases live on different pages. Before you can export your databases, you'll just need to add a couple of fields to make sure you can easily rebuild the relations as linked records when you import them into Airtable. In database A, add a new property and choose ID as the type. Then enter a prefix to use. For instance, each record in our contacts base will have an ID of con, then a number. Give this property a name and save it. Then open up database B and add a rollup property. Select the relation to database A and give it a descriptive name. By giving each record in database A a unique ID, you can ensure that Airtable will be able to find the correct record to link later on. Even if you have multiple records with the same name or similar names, the 
ID field ensures that each record is unique. For instance, you might have two contacts both named John Smith, so using the name alone would produce inaccurate results when you reconnect the linked records in Airtable. By searching for the unique ID instead, you should avoid the vast majority of potential errors. Now that your Notion databases are set up with unique IDs, you can go ahead and export them. To export a database, open it up as a full page. Then click on the three dot menu to the top right corner of the screen and select export. This will let you export the entirety of your currently selected page, including any databases that are on that page. By default, the export format should already be set to Markdown and CSV, which is what you'll want to use anyway. For every exported database, Notion will create two CSVs. One of these files will always include all of the records in the database. The Include Databases setting will let you choose whether you want the other CSV to include the current view you've selected or the default view of your database. Choosing Current View will just make it so the other CSV uses your currently selected view. If you choose Default View, the other CSV exported will use whatever view you've designated as the default view for the database. For a database export, you can usually leave the option to Include Subpages unchecked. If you are including subpages, you can also choose whether or not to create folders for those subpages. With all of your settings configured, click on Export to save your database. The exporting process can sometimes take a while as Notion creates the necessary files and compresses them into a .zip archive. Once your export is ready, you can save it to your computer. The randomly generated title isn't very descriptive, so you'll probably want to rename the archive too. When you decompress it, you'll see a folder with two CSVs. Both will have the same name as your database, and one will also say all. The all CSV will include every record in the database, and this is what we'll use later. The other will include the default view or the current view as you selected during the exporting process. To import your database into Airtable, open up an Airtable base that you'd like to use. Click add or import, then select CSV file and upload your CSV exported from Notion for database A. Then choose whether to create a new table or add data to an existing table. I'd recommend always creating a new table, unless you already have a table formatted with all the fields that you need, which is pretty unlikely. Next, you'll need to adjust your import. Airtable will try to set appropriate field types automatically, but you'll usually need to adjust those selections a bit. As you're adjusting the fields, be sure to leave the relation field as a text field. The ID field should also be set to single line text. Under other settings, make sure that the use first row as headers setting is checked to use the first row in your CSV as the field title instead of making it as a record. Once your configuration is all set, click import. Note that the data in our old relation field, companies, looks a little different than it did in Notion. They all include the Notion URL for each related page. This is another reason why we want to use the ID field to find each record instead, and we'll see why this is important later on in this tutorial. To help prevent confusion later on, I'd recommend renaming your relation field from Notion. I'll just add an old tag to mine. Database A is all set for now. Repeat the process to export and import Database B. Once again, keep the relation field and the ID field as single line text, and note that just like with the contacts table, this companies table also includes a long Notion URL in the old relations field. Now let's use some simple formulas to rebuild your relations as linked records. First, go back to database A. For us, that's contacts. Then duplicate the primary field. That's what Airtable calls the first field on the left that acts as a label for each record. 
Having this unique primary field is actually very useful, particularly because Airtable will allow us to change this primary field to a formula field. Other apps like Notion don't allow this. Click on the primary field and select duplicate field to make a copy to the right. Then give the newly copied field a new name, like contact name. Then you're going to change the primary field to a formula field instead of a text field. Click on the primary field, select edit field, then change the field type to formula. This formula is going to be very easy. All you want to do is display the contents of the notion ID field or whatever you've named the field that holds the notion ID you created earlier. So just start typing the name of the field and select it from the list that pops up. Click on save to commit your changes and click on convert on this warning about changing field types. Now the primary field for every record will be the exact same value as the notion ID. Note that this isn't a permanent change, just a step towards rebuilding the relations as linked records with these two newly imported tables. Open up database B. For us, that's companies. The old relation field that linked database B to database A in Notion is called contacts. This contact ID field was a rollup in Notion. It looked up the Notion ID for the linked contact. So it lists all of the IDs for each related contact here in this table. If we convert this field to a linked record connected to the contacts table in Airtable, then Airtable will automatically look for any records with these IDs in the primary field. That's why we updated the primary field in the contacts database to use each record's notion ID instead of the name. So let's change the field's name to something like contacts and make it a linked record field type. Pick database A, our contacts table. Ensure that allowing multiple records is enabled and save your changes. Once again, you'll need to confirm that you want to change this field type, and you can skip adding additional lookup fields for now. If you're an enterprise and have thousands of records in your database, this might take a minute or two. But with our small example database, the change happens immediately. The contact ID field is now a linked record connecting contacts to companies. Of course, these notion IDs don't make for the best labels, not for humans to read anyway. So to wrap things up, just go back to database A, contacts, and change the primary field formula to directly reference the contact name field instead of the contact ID field. I'll also include their title, but that's not necessary. Just showing that you can concatenate any data you want from each record into the primary field with a formula. With the primary field updated, let's go back to database B, companies, and check the linked record. Now, instead of IDs, we see the names and titles. And when we compare the new linked record field to the old relation field, we can see the names all match up. You can confidently delete the old relation field and you're all set to start using your new Airtable database with linked records. Check out our Airtable beginner's guide to learn about adding automation and interfaces and more to your new Airtable system. Before I wrap this video, I just want to note how useful the primary field in Airtable can be and emphasize a point I bring up in a lot of my Airtable videos. It is always a great idea to use a formula as the primary field instead of static text. In this case, using a formula lets us give our records one label that works well for rebuilding links and immediately switch it back to another label that's easier for people to read. And if we want to change our primary field again in the future, we just need to edit that formula once and every record will reflect the new format instantly. Setting up a formula for your primary field is just one small aspect of organizing your database, but can pay huge dividends when you need to edit your data. Just keep that in mind as you add new bases and tables to your Airtable workspace. Moving your data from one app to another can be a pain. Luckily, a simple CSV export and import will take care of migrating your fields. And with Airtable, preserving your Notion relations just takes a few more steps. With a simple formula and a couple quick field edits, you can rebuild as many linked records as you want in a matter of seconds. If you've enjoyed this video, prove you're human, like and subscribe for more automation tips every single week. If you'd like to learn more about no-code and low-code automation, follow us on LinkedIn, Twitter, or Facebook, and you can find all of our content on our website at xray.tech. All of those links are in the resources board down below. And as always, find your focus and stay in flow.
Trying to future-proof yourself? Start designing the way your team works with no-code tools, automation, and AI. In X-Ray's Workflow Designer course, we'll show you how to break down every part of a process to find the best opportunities for automation and how to integrate those automations into your team's daily work. You'll learn how to create time for your entire team, get more reliable results, and give everyone a newfound clarity and confidence in their work. Just go to this URL to learn more. The entire package includes over two hours of premium video content, challenging example projects, and tons of helpful resources. The course costs just $250 and gives you lifetime access to a Slack community of workflow designers building systems in dozens of different industries. Space is limited, so join the free waiting list today to get notified as soon as the course is live later this year. Thanks for watching, and we hope to see you soon in our workflow designer course.